dark. The snow's blowing hard. That's what I'm talking about right there guys. Winter storm in full effect and we're camping in a van and freaking loving it. What's up guys? It's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in the North Cascade Mountains of Washington State. This episode I'm cooking another meal here in the van. This time it's a freaking blizzard outside. I'm guessing the wind is gusting probably uh, 35 to 40 miles an hour at times. The snow's coming down. The National Weather Service has forecasted about 15 inches of snow to come down here in this area overnight. The heater's roasting along. It's nice and cozy here in the van. All while outside, all hell's breaking loose with a nice blizzard. It's winter camping at its finest. And we're gonna cook a meal. We're gonna enjoy it hanging out right here in the van. So for tonight's meal prep, I thought I'd show you guys the tools that I'm gonna be using to prepare my meal. First off, a nice simple spatula. It's nothing special. It's a Tavolo brand. It's nylon, non-scratch. An eight inch by 10 inch polyurethane cutting board. The thing I like about this is it's, it's nice and thick and sturdy, but it's compact and it'll store nicely in the van cabinets and keep yourself nice and organized. For tonight's meal, instead of using the burner stove in my Westphalia, these Coleman burners that go right on top of the bottles are really, really handy if you don't have an actual cooktop inside your van, which I know many of you guys run into. So for tonight's meal, I'm gonna be cooking on one of these, show you that it's also possible to cook with one of these. The great thing about these Coleman burners is that uh, really you can throw them up on top of just about any surface. I've got the top popped here in the Volkswagen van again, and I'm gonna set it right here on top of my swivel table and put the skillet right up on top and be able to cook my meal right there. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this stone earth frying pan. This one is made by Ozeri. It's a 12 inch pan. The great thing about this is the non-stick surface. I highly recommend this just because of the pure fact of its non-stick capabilities. There's nothing worse than having to clean up a icky, sticky, nasty pan, especially when you're in a van. Guys, I'm gonna post links to any of these products. If you guys are interested in using any of these in your van life situation, check out the information in the links down below. So for today's meal, I'm going with a green pepper, some garlic, an onion, and guys, this right here is the money. I swung into the local Mexican market down in Bellingham, and I picked up a pound of fajita seasoned chicken. For any sort of simple meal that tastes absolutely delicious, check your local Mexican market. You know, the little hole in the wall markets where they sell all the meat and all the, the tacos and all the, the wonderful authentic Mexican food and goods. Guys, you can take this right here, the fajita chicken. You can throw it directly on a grill with no seasoning and the most tender and the most delicious chicken ever. Truth be told, my whole idea was to bring some tortillas and do a little bit of a fajita type thing, but in all the craziness of going through the grocery store before I got up here to the mountain, I forgot the tortillas. So nonetheless, we're gonna do with what we've got. Fajita chicken, garlic, green pepper, onions, all cooked up into a skillet right here on Living the Van Life. Check it out. Guys, when it comes to enjoying a meal on wheels up here in the mountains, Heritage BSB brown sugar bourbon. It's brown sugar and cinnamon flavored whiskey. And I tell you what, being able to enjoy this, the flavor on it, the flavor is, it's awesome. It's available in a 60 proof option. It's also available in a 103 proof option for the high octane people out there that enjoy their whiskey strong. The cool thing about doing cooking videos here on the channel is I get to learn from all of you guys who uh, give me the tips and tricks as you guys are watching the videos. One thing I learned from you guys, cut the chicken last. All right, I get it, that makes sense. So, we're gonna start with our vegetables, we're gonna get those all cleaned up. It's freaking cool to be hanging out here, up in the mountains, even when all hell's breaking loose outside, this is my escape. I do urban camping every single night, so getting up here to the mountains, hanging out in the van, popping the top, cooking up a meal with you guys, that is my escape from the daily grind. So I'm just gonna chop this onion up into more manageable sizes here. I'm gonna take the green pepper, I'm gonna cut the core out of the inside of it. 
cut the pepper into some long slices that are manageable inside the skillet. There's something about a simple meal that really makes it more delicious when you don't have to put a ton of effort into making it. There's a little extra added value to it. Especially when it's a freaking blizzard coming down outside. Evidently 12 to 15 inches of snow expected here overnight. That will definitely make things interesting for the morning. That should make it nice and manageable. Add that over here with our onions. For this one I'm just going to get into one clove of garlic. I always love hearing your guys' feedback here on these cooking shows. I actually learn a lot from you guys on that so don't forget to post any suggestions that you guys might have for cooking a meal up such as this in a van. I want to hear all about it. Post it up in the comments down below. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with a little extra garlic flavor tonight. We're going to go with like two and a half cloves of garlic. That ought to uh, do the trick. Garlic's nice and minced up. I'm just going to add that right over here into the corner of the vegetables. That'll go here in the skillet. I've got my green pepper, my onions, and my garlic all set up ready to go. I'm going to get this chicken into a little bit more manageable sizes. I'm doing the chicken last because of you guys and your suggestions on that. That way you're not contaminating your vegetables for anything that might be on the chicken. I always want to discard your chicken stuff. Make sure and put it in a plastic bag. Something that you can seal up, get it nice and tight so that it's not spreading its ooey gooeyness all over the place. Just want to get it into manageable sizes for the skillet. Like I said guys, this all comes pre-seasoned with a wonderful fajita seasoning. You can throw this stuff straight on the grill. Perfect for going out and camping, sharing with friends. It's all wonderful and great. One pound of chicken from this place, $2.49. It's more than enough chicken for one person. Most likely it's probably enough for two people. Let's face it, it's not always very easy to be able to do your dishes when you're living in a van. There are some great options for van life. Non-toxic sanitizing wipes, absolutely key for keeping your space clean and sanitary. While living in your van, staying organized, staying clean is absolutely important. I've got the fajita flavored chicken from the Mexican market. I've got a Mayan sweet onion a green bell pepper, and three cloves of garlic. We're gonna mix it all together here in the skillet and get this all cooked up and ready to go. I'm gonna start out by putting my garlic in there. Stir it around in there, get a nice flavor base going. The pan's nice and warm. Things are cooking right along. I'm gonna go ahead and dump my chicken in there. Oh, guys, that fajita flavored chicken in together with the sesame oil and the garlic, the smell, the, the aroma that's coming in off of that, superb. All right, guys, so I went ahead and added in the onions, the rest of the garlic, and the green bell peppers. I turned it down to low. I'm going to just let this simmer, give it a stir every once in a while. Let the flavors of those onions, the garlic, and the bell peppers just kind of meld together. So the veggies are beginning to cook down, getting nice and tender. I went ahead and added some extra salt because I added the extra vegetables in there. I wanted to add a little extra salt to up that, that flavor in there. And there we go guys, a nice fajita style skillet sensation right here cooked in the van while there's a blizzard going on outside, 5,000 feet elevation and the North Cascade Mountains. This is where it's at. Nice, delicious, home-cooked meal. Home-cooked on wheels. Wow. There's something about it that tastes delicious when it's so simple. My plan was to do this in tortillas and make some sort of fajitas, tacos, burritos, however you want to call it. But honestly, on a plate with a fork, Huh. money. I love it. I love to be able to have 
this sort of escape. The cool thing is, guys, you don't even have to live in your van to have this kind of experience. You could be doing this right now in your camper, your RV, whatever it is that you have for a recreational vehicle. Get out of the daily grind. Go cook yourself a meal out in the wilderness. Kick back and enjoy life. I've really enjoyed being able to do these cooking shows with you guys. I've done a couple other in the past. My most recent one, again, I was up in the mountains in the wintertime cooking a meal similar to this. A little different style, a little, little bit different flavor. But uh, if you're interested in checking out that video, click the link right above here. Follow that link and you can check that out. Even when I was living in a house, I never cooked meals this good for myself. Getting out here in the van and being able to do it on wheels. <laughs> Truly, it's moments like this that help bring the fulfillment into life. Being stuck in the day-to-day -day rat race, but getting the opportunity to come out and have an experience like this, it reminds you of how good life can be. So no matter how much you get caught up in that rat race, remind yourself that you need little escapes like this. It's the simple things that help bring that fulfillment. One bell pepper, one onion, three cloves of garlics, and one pound of chicken was more than enough for one person. I guarantee you could have gotten a meal for two out of this. Something to consider if you're looking to cook for two people. I'm going to have myself two helpings. What can I say? Tasty, tasty. One of the number one questions I get when it comes to cooking in a van is, well, what do you do about meal cleanup? That's a very good question. We're in a small, tight, compact area. Cleaning up after a meal can be difficult. The number one key thing to that is keeping your meal simple. Don't worry about a lot of side dishes and those sorts because that just creates extra dishes and makes cleanup more complicated. When you've got a nice non-stick surface like this, it makes cleanup a whirl. Once you're done frying up your meal in this frying pan, with the wipe of a paper towel and the wipe of a non-rinse sanitizing wipe, which I keep here in the van, this is what you get after a meal. It's ready to go for the next one. Toss it in your cabinet and you're done. Another key component when it comes to cleaning up after a meal is a good sanitizing wipe. I have found that seven generation wipes are actually a really good product. Turns out it kills 99.9% .9 of the germs. It's safe on multiple surfaces. It's even safe on food surfaces. Basically, they say that you can use these in a non-rinse type situation. They're non-toxic. So once you've hit this thing with a paper towel, you can come in behind with a sanitizing wipe, wipe this thing clean. And with that non-stick surface, it comes nice and clean, super simple. Meal prep doesn't have to be complicated. Guys, I'm gonna post links to any of these products. If you guys are interested in using any of these products in your van life situation, check out the information in the links down below. Anyways, guys, uh, this blizzard sounds like it's getting out of control outside. I think what we need to do is go outside and check this stuff out. You can see just about how much snow we've had since I've been here. You can see the tracks of where I came in here earlier. The tracks have been completely covered up and out here there's no trace that we even arrived out here. It's dark, the snow's blowing hard. We just cooked a wonderful meal. We got the shelter of the van. Now we're gonna kick back, listen to some music, just enjoy life as it is to be.